Wake up, ladies and gentlemen. It's 2024. I'm a man, and Switch 2 news has just dropped. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Skip it up and that up. So I always start these videos off with something that needs to be said. You need to take everything here with the super, super, super tiny grain of salt. Everyone could be full of crap, or even if they aren't full of crap and they weren't trying to put out misinformation, things happen. Even if they have a legitimate leaker from within inside Nintendo or whatever the case may be, maybe they got the information wrong. So until Nintendo says anything, it's interesting to talk about the rumors, but they, that's all they are. They're just rumors and that's it. By the way, you should sub to my music and live stream channels. Links below in the description. I live stream almost on a daily basis and I make hot fire man beats. God, that, that, that does not make the, sound, the channel sound appetizing. But anyway, links. Go check out my music. Go check out my live streams below in the description. Sh shameless plug done. Hand jobs all around. Well, more leaks are happening now. More rumors. The rumor mill is accelerating with the Switch 2. And like I always said, when the rumors start to accelerate, uh, like when you hear that you're about to have massive layoffs at your job, um, chances are it's true. Ask me how I know that one. So the first thing I want to talk about is a game has uh, been leaked for the Nintendo Switch, and it will be the Bayonetta Trilogy. It will have enhanced graphics. So there's been a couple social media accounts talking about this, so it kind of raises the credibility, or they could just be echo chambers for each other. Uh, but one of the ones that I know that some other people that I trust follow is uh, Nash Weedle. I don't know why that took me so long to say, but his original post, I had to have it translated here. Uh, this is what it says. Bayonetta will receive a trilogy edition with its three main games in one pack for the Switch 2. The games will bring visual HDR confirmed. Ah, they are going to do HDR with the next-gen Switch. And performance improvements. Due to backwards compatibility, it can also be played on Switch 2 with improvements. Oh. So they're kind of do Okay. So you could put this in the original Switch and just have the trilogy, which would make sense. I mean, the original Switch game was for 7th gen consoles. Or you could play it on the Switch 2 with the graphical enhancements. I'm liking this. That is a If that is true, and that's just not a rumor, which we just have to just say again, these are all rumors. I like that. That makes parts of me tingle. Now, when will the next gen Switch be released? It's interesting because from the leakers, we're seeing a couple dates here. It could either be the end of September 2024, or if that is too quick and Nintendo can't get things done in time, they have another placeholder for November 2024. So either in September, if things go smoothly for Nintendo, or as a backup, they have November 2024. It looks like they really, really, really want to get it out for the holiday season, and I don't blame them because it, people will definitely be looking forward to a more powerful piece of hardware from Nintendo by that point. Now, other leaks came from Soldier Delta, who released screenshots of Team Ninja's Rise of Ronin. Yay. So the credibility of this guy is kind of all over the place. All of the articles are citing him but that doesn't make it any more credible. I just need to make that abundantly clear. Everywhere I go, Soldier Delta is in these articles, so every single article could be getting misinformation. Just keep that in mind. Now, this is a rumor that continues to permeate, which I know has people concerned, but as much as I love physical media and backwards compatibility, I, I, I've bought 99.9% .9 of my games digitally on my Nintendo Switch is that there's going to be two models and the pricing for these two models are as such for the digital only version of the next gen Switch it's going to be 400 bucks the uh, cartridge version is going to be 450 so if you want to have physical media on your Switch it's going to be $50 more the other thing too uh, the OLED screen this has been talked about for a while uh, with the next gen switch initially anyway for cost reasons it's going to go away they are not going to have an OLED screen at least on the launch next gen switch which is codenamed NG 
because they're looking to save some money because it's going to be more expensive to make the next gen switch because it's more powerful hardware with newer tech inside of it uh one of the things we can hope for but it's nintendo i doubt it is that this next gen display has 120 hertz refresh rate that would be nice but that would also mitigate on battery power I don't see Nintendo doing that. I just see them giving us a nice, solid, clean 1080p IPS panel. Maybe it'll be HDR capable. I mean, they're saying, this is a rumor again, that the Bayonetta trilogy will have HDR on the Switch 2. So that would be nice, but OLED is out of the question. We can hope for 120 Hertz refresh rate on the next gen Switch screen, but I'm just thinking a 1080p, 60 Hertz, nice, clean IPS panel for cost reasons and on top of it for battery life reasons. The higher refresh rate would suck into the battery and that would turn off people to Nintendo's next console. But the display will be eight inches. So I'm thinking it's gonna be 1080p, eight inch, 60 Hertz display. That's it. If we get anything extra, great, but I highly doubt it. Now, someone else released some other specs here. Credibility behind them, don't know. Uh, Nintendo Switch 2 possible specs, DLSS 3.1, uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM, ray tracing. We did hear this before from more credible sources that there was a, a closed door demo of the Matrix 5 tech demo running on the Nintendo Switch and DLSS helped with that. They showed an updated, smoother version, higher res version of Breath of the Wild. And they also showed off the Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, running on the Nintendo Switch 2 hardware. So now I've heard other rumors too that the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be only as powerful as a base PlayStation 4, which would be disastrous. Then I hear more sensible things that it could be as powerful as an ROG ally, which to me would make more sense, especially because it's going to be a dedicated console from Nintendo. They could push more out of the hardware than you can with a, just a PC with game pads attached to it, which is what all of the other consoles are. Those gaming PCs, those ROG Ally, the uh, Lenovo Legion Go, even the Steam Deck, which is the most consoleized because it runs its own special OS. Um, you can't do the same thing you could do with a console because it's specific hardware. Developers know they only have one kind of hardware they need to develop the game for, and they could push more out of it. So. If it's as powerful as an ROG Ally, you're going to get some pretty banging performance out of the Switch 2. I've also heard it's as powerful as a Series S or even more so, but I think that's pushing it. I can believe that it's as capable as an ROG Ally, and I would be happy with that. So that makes the most sense to me. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Usually I don't say that, but I'm interested. Do you think the pricing of the next-gen Switch, if it's true and they have these two models, uh, the Switch Digital and Switch Physical Edition, let's just call them that for now, for 400 and 450 bucks, will you spend that money? Uh, does it disappoint you that they're stepping back? This rumor seems to be consistent, so I believe it, that they're stepping back to a LCD or IPS panel, I mean to say. Um, did you hope that it was still going to be an OLED panel on the next-gen Switch? Well, tell me what you think. Too expensive, not happy with the screen, or you think that you're going to buy it day one? I'm okay with what we're ta they're talking about here, so it'll be a day one buy for me. No kidding, but maybe your thoughts are different. Anyway, guys, make sure you sub to my live stream and music channels. Links below in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.